Right, hello! Welcome to a brand new Crusader Kings 2 series because my previous one is a no-go. No, it is no more. It is... poof. I don't know how to put it better. Uh, basically the save file got corrupted so now I'm starting a new one and I have the perfect idea to do because the previous one is just too easy as I was about to become the King of England anyway. So for this one, I've decided to become Earl Alfred of Dorset. Now I presume, I may be wrong, but I think I'm not, that this is Alfred the Great in making. He'll eventually become King of Wessex and repel those dastardly Vikings in Jorvik, in that place. Yeah, that one as well as the Norse over here it doesn't matter really because we're going to kill them all we're going to unite all of Britain and then the world Ooh, ah, 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 ah. so that's the plan I hope it works might not, might will let's get to it um, I don't know what more else to say. I've got new borders, rivers, and textures on because I just love this mod. It makes the game much prettier, although it probably doesn't look as pretty on your screen because video never looks quite the same. Uh, all DLC on, including Sunset Invasion, for some strange reason. I'm sure that will come and spruce up the game up later if we actually manage to get that far. I doubt we will, but if we do, that's something to look forward to. So I say let's get to it. I suppose I should introduce my I missed that bit out. Um I'm Jay. Uh I shall be doing the CK2 series for you. While Aaron, who's done all previous games before, he he does have Crusader Kings 2. I feel he probably doesn't see himself as good as a player as me. Try not to brag or anything, but I th I feel that he does do that, and that's why he's made me do it instead. So let's get married, because you know, gay being gamey is gamey. Uh, what am I doing? <coughs> so. What I'm really looking for here is not to marry her because she's got chase and that will remove fertility. What I want is sort of to get just get a lot of kids in place first. Once I have a lot of kids, kill Aetherid. Well, I'll probably kill Aetherid before, but don't tell him that. And then I shall inherit Wessex. and I don't really want to marry these courtiers. I also want an alliance in case I do have to declare war on Aetherid, which I don't think I will have to, but if I do... Yeah, there's that. So, an alliance with West Francia sounds perfectly reasonable. Let's do it. And let's get this game started. You may also notice that we have two wars. Six starts with yep, the suit Wessex uh, starts with the invasion of Jorvik of Northumberland and that place invading East Anglia. They'll probably succeed because they have a shit ton of troops and no no one has that many troops to face them. But it's always nice that he's actually trying. And he's also already separated the realm. And he only has one count no, he has yeah, he has two counties. Sorry. While I have two myself. So basically, I'm on terms with him. I can, I can start that faction. Pretty self-explanatory. 
I mean, it's demanding that I become King of Wessex. I can demand it without having to go to war, although I probably would at this time because they don't actually, you know, there's no one else supporting that faction right now. Uh, borrow that money because basically there may come a time when Aetherid bans the Jews and if he does I don't have to worry about it and I get free money. What's not like, what's not to like there? I'm also going to go on a pilgrimage because I am a just man and diligent man and I want to go out and see the world. This is a Wikipedia link, although I'm probably not going to click that. If there's a Wikipedia link, it's probably because he's Alfred the Great. Oh. Well. We aren't ambitious or anything. We're not proud, so we'll just visit St. James of Santiago. So as you can see, those 10,000 men are now coming to take East Anglia. I've been given the title Master of the Horse. Though I don't understand why Aetherid is not. Oh. Actually, I may be his marshal. I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm probably his marshal. So now with that plot to kill Aetherid pretty much in full swing, whilst I'm also on a pilgrimage. So basically it's going to turn out that I'm in Santiago when he dies and no one can put the bit blame on me. Yes. Obviously it doesn't work like that, but it should. Oh dear. Um, you lay awake at night reflecting on your pilgrimage. It's an inner journey as well as a physical one, but you can be sure of which destination it took you to. And do you even want to have that certainty? I could get cynical or some other stuff. I got... Oh, oh come on! 10% chance of that and I manage it. Oh, for goodness sake. Now I can kill myself. And... Actually, that would mean I become Aetherid. Although Aetherid sucks as a character. No, he's actually not that bad this time. Usually Aetherid is really terrible as a character. But this time he seems alright. One moment. Sorry about that, that was very rude of me. So here we are. The. Oh, for goodness sake. So here we are in this bloody world of 867. Vikings everywhere, Saxons sucking terribly. I'm also back from my pilgrimage, which was terrible. It's all in all a terrible place. A terrible, terrible place where there are no redeeming factors at all. Not, not really. Unless you count that Mercian battle, which just won, and actually means we've won the invasion of Northumberland. Uh, you don't usually see that. You definitely don't usually see that. So Jorvik is our little shithole, just like modern day. Meanwhile. It looks like East Anglia is lost, but that's a lot better than losing all of Northumberland. So at the moment we just sort of sat here, just waiting for Aetherid to die, or me to die, 
Just when someone dies, it gets interesting, trust me. Oh yeah. How stupid of me. I forgot about my council. Um, let's fabricate a claim on Devon. This way we can expand our land without having to try and attack anyone else. Although we could actually attack our fellow vassals, but I've already placed the claim on Devon. Whoops. Train troops is where it's at, as well as collect taxes. Um, let us scheme in Dorset as well. And let us research. No, let's improve religious relations with His Holiness himself, the Pope. And I remember my previous save was about like looking at Sons of Abraham it's still the same there's still a college of cardinals the expected next cardinal is an actual Prince Bishopric of Reims so yeah isn't pretty Britain lovely this time of year the rolling trees, the flowing rivers, the rain. Well, I'm just being rather silly now. set my capital and I'm going to need to move all my people when I can. 21st of December, that's a long wait. Ah, oh, shit. I did not look through this completely. And there's East Anglia lost to the Norse. It's a sad day. I did not expect that to happen. Okay. So now that place is attacking for this, I believe. No, nope, not this. Lothian. Where's Lothian? Alright, so they're attacking Northumberland again. Huh. So I think that should actually be the other way around. It should actually be Northumberland calling Wessex to the war, not Wessex to calling Northumberland, who's being attacked to the war. And also it seems they're failing miserably. No surprise there. Meanwhile, I am continuing to wait for something to happen. Like, my plot finally working. And, it trusts me that I have 200% and I don't even have 200%. Oh, that's a bummer. And I'm still the only person in that faction. Do you like me? You actually like me more than Aetherwood, so I don't see why people are trying to keep him in power. Join me! Let us be great as a country. Let us rule the world. Or just sit there on your buttocks and 
do nothing. Oh gee, I didn't expect this start to be so slow. Really, I should have expected it, but even so. I'm Alfred the Great, I'm supposed to be doing stuff. So how have you guys been doing? I've been doing swell recently. Just toppy tippers. And to date this video, today is Super Bowl Sunday. And even though I'm British, I'm still watching it. So if you're American, and you're watching this video. There are actually other countries that watch the Super Bowl and not just yours. Amazing, I know. But it's the truth. I probably might move my Chancellor to Wiltshire. Even though Wiltshire is actually the only Earl that likes me more than Wessex. It's, a, it's tough love, really. And yeah, here's the raw ridden world of Europe. That is 868 now. A terrible place. Vile, disease ridden, warmongering place. With Norse raiders. The most annoying creation known to man. Just. If you went to one period, if you went back in time and went to one specific time period, it would not be this one. Unless you value your life. Or you actually like medieval history, which I know that Aaron does. Which makes it even more weirder that he doesn't want to do a uh, campaign in this, considering he loves medieval stuff. Me on the other hand, I'm more of a modern historian. I've recently been playing EU4, love that game, as well as this game, don't don't get me wrong, I love Crusader Kings 2 just as much as EU4, it's just EU4 I've played more recently, because, I don't know actually. See, this is what I find pointless about. AI. Oh gee, let's raise up 67 troops. This will surely handle 4,624. 4, or maybe those 1,364. Yeah, 67 can totally take them on. Perhaps the Raiders as well, 425. We can totally kill everyone with 67 troops. Gee whiz, boys. Godspeed, men. Godspeed to your inevitable deaths. 23 men there, 49 men there, 37 men there, oh my goodness. Uh, I just don't even want to look at that. A group of Hedgenites come to visit Dorset. Um, welcome them with a lavish feast. And finally, my wife is pregnant. Do some more gold for piety. And I'm still depressed. And I still can't kill my brother. Half brother, isn't it? No, my half brother. Send gift. Now he shall join our blood. Or not. Um. Oh, there he is. Oh boy. We're nearly at 200%. And. Oh. Sorry about that. 
uh, that means that this video is over. Um, I hope I see you next time with my thrilling story of Alfred the Great and his inevitable conquest of the entire world. We've made a good start, I suppose, but soon it will get better. It always does. See you soon.